Welcome to Mint. I am Ramya Nair. In today's episode of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Utpal Bhaskar, our energy editor. We are here to discuss the government's move to potentially free up diesel, kerosene and LPG prices. So Utpal, what was the government's decision last night all about? It was a very interesting move. In fact, in 2002-03, there was this uh, scheme which was set up by, called by the name of Irrecoverable Taxes Compensation Scheme, which was basically helping the oil marketing government or oil marketing companies such as an Indian Oil Corporation, a BPCL or HPCL move from administered pricing mechanism to free market pricing. However, what happened was that while the states kept on uh, imposing duties such as uh, case in point being uh, the tax on uh, entry of crude, uh, the, the mechanism was the same which was evolved in 2002-03. As a result, a lot of these oil marketing companies had to keep on absorbing these kind of surcharges and which couldn't be passed on to the consumers. So there was an effective review which was done and uh, it, while it, it, it also translated in, while for some states the prices of uh, diesel, kerosene and LPG and petrol have gone up, in others they have come down. Uh, interestingly, uh, a lot of people that we spoke to uh, say that this is, a, this is a step in the direction of freeing up the prices of products such as diesel, kerosene and LPG since as you would remember the petrol prices were decontrolled uh, way back in 2010. However, the oil marketing companies still increase prices in consultation with the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So this is effectively, effectively what happened yesterday and the results are being shown today across, uh, across the country. But Mamta Banerjee has opposed this government's uh, decision. Yeah, uh, interestingly, uh, Mamta Banerjee, who is a very key government ally, uh, she, she, she heads the Trinamool Congress, she is a very strong ally of the government as well, powerful, has the numbers. She has demanded a complete rollback. Now, it's also left to be seen that because uh, Mamta Banerjee has been making, in fact, that when there was the 70 paise rise in uh, petrol prices, she had demanded a rollback. And now she has demanded a rollback right now. And uh, it's, it's to be seen how this entire thing plays out. It also comes in the backdrop of this coordination committee which has been set up by the Congress, uh, which was a key demand of the Allies. So now we have this very interesting power center emerging, which, is, which goes by the name of this coordination committee, where every ally uh, will be a partner there, every ally who's a partner will be present there, and it will also give them a voice. So now the government would have less uh, uh, space to push some key reforms as well. This m might be the test case, whether uh, the Congress has the will and the wherewithal to go ahead. So decontrol of diesel prices doesn't seem likely any time in the near future. Uh, uh, this is one of the things which have been talked about for some time. Uh, there has been n number of committees which have recommended it. Uh, uh, Mr. Rangarajan has been asking for it for a long time. The Kirat Pari committee report has been asked for it. Uh, there have been similar recommendations made by earlier reports as well. Uh, it entirely boils down to a very simple fact that whether this con whether the Congress party has the political space, the goodwill, and wants to go ahead with such a key reform. Uh, diesel, as you would uh, understand, is uh, uh, becomes a very emotive issue given the uh, way that it impacts inflation and and other prices in in the entire value chain going downwards. Uh, so it's entirely dependent upon what kind of a uh, political maneuverability that the Congress could come up with and it's entirely left to uh, the political will of Congress which leads UPA today. So it does look like the government's move to push for important reforms may be delayed a bit further. Thank you for joining us on the show Utpal. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.